BMWM roster. I'm gonna replace the oil housing gasket is leaking, which is underneath uh, the alternator. So I had to disassemble the <coughs> intake, which is pretty easy to undo. Right here, just un un undo this and comes out the plug. Um, this side just um, lose the clamp then put this out and this stand right here just lose it and you should be able to take it out so that thing right there lines up with this part right here on the bottom so very easy to take it out and as you can see right there there's my alternator so any before doing any any work in this car uh disconnect your battery which i did already so so next thing would be to undo this belt serpentine belt which is the only this one on this side there are two so one on the top and one on the bottom for the ac so the ac you don't have to touch it you don't have to move anything here or the uh, punch clutch or anything so just undo this belt and and this pulley right there uh, which is holding the alternator right there you can see and there is one on the bottom somewhere here so i'll show you later so you have to remove this uh, cover and for the pulley and this one to undo the belt so let's see if I can show you guys my other light right there so you can spot the bolt right there and do the same thing with the <coughs> with this part right here that is gonna um you're gonna put your tool there to uh undo the serpentine belt let's see if i there you go Um, the cover has to be this one, the one that, that has the bolt to to put some tension to release the serpentine belt. So you see, this one is different than this one. That's a little more uh, like a cap right here. This one is the flat one that I have to remove it to to um, to put a T uh, fifty right there. See right there. So, so my setup is already there and as you can see if I put tension right here okay, I can pretty much uh, release my serpentine bell If your BMW uh, Z3 is making noise and this pulley, so most likely is this one right here on the for the tensioner uh, tension pulley. It's making noise and and it has a lot of play, so it's time to replace it. And this one is not too far behind. It's still okay. That's just a tiny little play, but. It would be nice to replace it as well too but definitely this one is making noise now
of uh, the pulley, this right here, which goes through the alternator and the bracket right there. <coughs> so this uh, pulley has a little uh, nipple that line up, lines up with the bracket on the alternator. So make sure when you put it back, make sure you line up this little nipple right there with the right here but there's a little slot there where you have to line it up so. there's your pulley from the top and right here on the bottom uh, also a six, uh, 16 Broke the loose. So right here is your second one. Ball. That's a washer as well too right there. So it's out. same the one on the bottom is black and the one on top is chrome and the one on the top on the pulley is um, uh, longer than the one on the bottom so right here is your alternator so it's kind of like remove this cover right here and then Disconnect. Ten right there. Is it ten or twelve? Right there. Undo it and then you just wiggle around your alternator. Still like inside there, on the, what it sits right on the bracket. So just wiggle it around. There you go. It's right there. So it sits right here on top of the housing. So just remove this uh, nut and unplug your your wires from uh, the alternator and should be able to start break uh, taking apart this uh, housing so remove this is a, a 13 this is a 10 so the red wire is for your uh, current positive and this one right here on the on the 10 that's uh, your your ground. So once you remove these two, you should be able to take out your alternator, which is probably this Baleo brand. <clears throat> okay, guys. So I'm gonna remove the filter, clean, empty whatever is in there, so that I don't make a mess. And then uh, remove us. Uh, I do believe there are only six of those bolts. There's some of them are small and larger, so you make sure you label them. I have another video on my channel where I show how to take it apart. It's been a while since I did it last time, but I've done it like a few times. Uh, some of the BMW Z3s. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and a six. And while doing this, uh, you may want to spray a bunch of uh, degreaser here so then you can use a little brush water brush to clean all the mess clean here install the new gasket and put it back and so you can you pretty much you have to clean all this so then 
um, it doesn't look all nasty so once you remove this remove the bolt and the filter gasket uh, 19 millimeter uh, panels uh, bolt as you can see they has two washers one on the top and one on the other side so pretty much the uh, vanos goes in between the two washers put some rags so then to capture the leftover um, um, oil So you have to replace these washers and while doing this you might have you as might as well you have to replace this hose but a customer didn't want to replace this hose and it's not leaking but at least you have to replace the washers so I'm not gonna remove this because this is not needed to be replaced for now and so I'm gonna start losing off oh. right here. You have two plugs right here. So just pinch it down this wire and then it comes out. Make sure which one is gonna go to which side. Brown with the green one right here. And we have another one right here on the back. My finger is right there, so do the same thing. Right there, pinch it, push. Anyway, so, so I'm gonna start losing this port. Let's say this is uh, right here on the top. That's you feel where you the, the filter goes. So the largest one goes on the left side, right in the middle. Those two are the same, and those two are the same on the bottom. Um, so those ones are the uh, shorter ones the medium one large and this is the largest and this is the smallest one so just make sure you don't mix them okay so once you take the six uh, bolts right there to be able to take this whole house in now you need to re uh, move these uh, two uh, turtins the cap is becoming bigger because see if they're the same size yes they're the same size so doesn't matter where they're in tuition so now I should be able to remove this baby out so put some rags there You're still gonna end up making a big mess, but so just make sure those little um, the holes line up with the. Let me show you. Put this down right here. So this is the cause of uh, leaking here on the block so then it should be stuck on the housing filter um, 
yeah so it's all brittle brittle i mean so should be should be here no on the block so i can tell this is all flat and brittle so just make sure when you set up uh mount your uh, housing the mount on these two uh metal things right here so that's to that those are to line up your um your housing and make sure this little metal thing right there also line up there so. okay now it's time to clean this uh, mess okay guys so you can see i clean everything pretty much in here so I just get a little blade gentle to get all the gunk if it has gunk so you just go gentle ah, in the surface and do the same thing on the on the black on the housing right here clean it around after you take a remove the gasket so here is the housing very clean and I just put the gasket on I just put a, grab a little bit of uh, oil to loop it around and when you clean it just put some rags here or blue towels to clean it so they don't get any debris inside and also on the block too so just put a little bit of um, oil to lube it so it's not dry and doesn't get brittle faster or soon so just put it like that everything is clean and ready to put them back in the car oh, part number um, for the gasket is this one right here and we put it here on a FCP Euro. and I'm just gonna replace the two washers from the, for the panels on the top so here we go See those dowels right there? There's one right here and one right here from the bottom. So just make sure um, you line up your dowels with your housing one here and one on the other side. So I won't be able to show you because I need both hands and no one is gonna record it. Here we go. So line up first the one on the top, the dowel, and then slowly line, try to uh, match this uh, bolt right here. And as you move it down, um, it'll uh, sit the other dowel on the housing. So once you know the uh, flash and seal, um, you can see where the screws are gonna go. I mean the bolts are gonna go. You see, if you can see the thread, then that means it's lined up. And when you sit it down on top of the block, then you can, you're gonna feel it that, that it's going in. So, largest one. So, pretty much BMW. They said they uh, they suggest to replace uh, the bolts but um, honestly I I done a few BMWs in the past and if you were using it's fine 
and you can always buy the whole kit too as well so the two in the middle they're the same and they're like in the middle like the short ones and the they're not the short ones not the largest ones so they're in the middle so i'm moving around because i'm getting my one right there and the last one right here Those are um, 13. So just do a one. Start um, tightening up just by hand the ones in the middle first and then go crisscross. Just go a little by little so then uh, you don't type uh, more one side and the other one so it, it calls for a, a 16 uh, foot pounds you have a ratchet but torque first by hand so you can have the feeling and then after that you can torque a 16 foot pounds so pretty much done uh, putting this back the housing so Told you six bolts at 16 foot pounds, and then just put your wife to wash it between these uh, the hose, the vanos, put it behind the oil filter housing. And then, uh, so at this point, pretty much is just a matter of uh, putting back uh, my alternator, uh, the plugs for the uh, sensors, and Pretty much uh, downhill now. It's pretty basic and simple to do it now. So, this one's in the front, and this one is goes on the back. to put the alternator so once you put um, plug your plugs right there the two um, make sure you don't forget to put those two bolts right here um, against the uh, on uh, to connect with the housing those two right there 13s <coughs> make sure you uh, also um, you put your filter your gaskets and put these uh, washers already to one on each side torque it um, put my 13 and my 10 right there 13 and 10 right there and just uh, cover this cover your harness And then uh, line up um, the alternator bracket with the housing right there. So I'm done putting back the alternator. So line up your uh, uh, pulley with this little slot right there on the back. Little nipple that has uh, your pulley right there. And, uh, and the one on the bottom. So it's pretty basic. So then. So for now, I just need to uh, uh, route this serpentine belt, put my intake and test it out to see if there's no more leaks. So 
I think the bell is routed again already. So just make sure you put the covers on the pulleys. The three. And the last bar that I'm gonna have to put on is the intake. Right here, the little boots right there. It has to sit on them there. And this little nut uh, thing is just sliding. Sure, it's in there. So, here's the final product. So, line up your pen in this bracket, right there, you in uh, intake with the and the one on the bottom, right there, the boot. Just um, need to uh, let me just snuggle this thing and connect your connector right there. So this is how you replace uh, a housing oil gasket for the M3 C roster uh, BMW. So it's not the car uh, shipping for weeks, but it's like a more than fine right now. Oh, sounds pretty good. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.